So today I'm here to do the walkthrough of my December daily for 2021. Um, yeah, I know it's way long overdue, but here we are. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I recently posted a video, I'm um, kind of working on my December daily and I will link it down below if you missed it. It's just a process video and it was so much fun to, you know, kind of go back to those memories since we are now in like March or we are in April, but when I did it, it was March. And so it was kind of nice to relive those beautiful Christmas memories. I can't wait for Christmas again. It's just my favorite time of the year. Um, and so anyway, I wanted to do kind of like a chatty version of the walkthrough and talk a little bit about how I decorated the pages and maybe some of the things that we did um, and so yeah so this book is a Madori style book I do have a tutorial uh, for when I make this book which is part of the um, Christmas series the 12 days of Christmas for 2021 so I will link the playlist down below and this is one of the projects I don't remember exactly which day that was but we basically work on the binding and adding the pages and the book does have two signatures which turned out pretty chunky as you can see and then the tassel here is just a combination of different laces and I did tie some jingle bells to you know I just love grabbing the book and hearing the jingle bells it speaks in Christmas right off the back. Um, here on the cover, I have a picture from um, the trip that we took to Lake Tahoe. We were playing on the snow and it was so much fun. The dye here is from La La Land Crafts and I believe the flowers are from Prima and I just love the white and gold look here of the book. And then on the inside pages, I have a more you know, traditional color scheme which turned out really cute. So now let's go inside um, the, the book here. So this is a Christmas card that I received probably a couple years ago and I definitely, you know, wanted to put it here. I kept this for so long because I love this llama and my previous December dailies have been more into like, I think it was like a pink Christmas. Um, so I didn't know where to put it, but finally this collection had a little bit of red and green. So I think it looks really, really beautiful here. And I just love the llama, of course. Um, then here, of course, a picture of my cross. So I went ahead and added a lot of stitching throughout this book, kind of inspired by this um, llama <laughs> card here that has some stitching throughout. And it turned out really fun. And then I have some pom-pom trims. Um, on this first page, what I did is just basically glue two pages together on the sides to create this pocket. And I have here the, um, the leathers that the girls do. So one was for me and Tessie drew this all our little kitties and <laughs> doggies. And it was just so cute. So of course, I needed a pocket to keep all of these. And I have more on a different pocket as well um the first page or the first these two pages are basically some pictures of how we decorated the home that turned out really cute uh, we always have a different christmas tree every year like a different color a different theme and again a lot of stitching as you saw probably on that processed video um, and then also on the 12 days of christmas uh, oh no actually it was a different series like creating Christmas cards. I think it was five days of Christmas cards or something like that. So I created all of these interactive um, cards and this is one that spins around. So I decided to just add the card here as a little layout and I put a picture of my doggy and then you can spin that around. And here I have the, <laughs> the dogs. We did an advent calendars for the dogs and one for the cats as well. So I just talk about that a little bit so here is my cat he loves or he loved to nap <laughs> right on top of the um, nativity which was uh, super funny uh, but I have a couple pictures of him doing that again a lot of stitching um, then we of course had a nothing calendar for the girls that I did and it was really fun you know coming in the morning and I actually didn't start this until like 
the 4th or something like that and as you can see on this december daily i don't have the daily bubbles because um it it, it has been too long i don't really remember so what i wanted to do just document the memories and not so much worry about what we did what day and then also you know the girls are back to like normal school so it was just too little time to be doing things on like a daily type of basis as the girls are getting older they have more you know like homeworks and assignments and it's yeah it's just too much to try to do everything um, on this layout here i wanted to do something for the family here's my mom her brother my aunt and then we have a new baby in the family so i got the christmas card in here and a little bit of journaling we did have a day on the city which was so much fun because it was fun because it was raining we didn't anticipate that it was going to rain we were looking forward to going to the city and do ice skating we kind of planned it on a monday and by the time saturday came and we went it was raining so we couldn't do the ice skating but it ended up being super fun uh, being on the rain walking on the city got some coffee and it was just a really really fun day um then this year we did a lot of like at home so we will make hot cocoa Go watch a movie and just make a puzzle so here is um, some of the puzzles that we made I kind of put them throughout the book as well and on this little envelope I added all of our favorite movies that we watch over and over again and I do also have like a little um, journaling card right there where I talk about some of the things that we did so it's really fun to you know make the hot cocoa and just have a cozy night in the house and then um, I give the girls some challenges it's always fun so one of the challenges was to make ornaments so here are some of the pictures that the girls did ornaments for the cats and <laughs> so Emma did um, like she did so good at drawing like the kitty faces and painting the you know the colors for the kittens and stuff like each one it looks exactly how the cats are and then Ariel did like the paw prints it was just so so much fun and so another puzzle then Ariel and Tessie had like a day, um, Disney day at school. So they had to wear like Disney stuff and it was just really fun. So I put that one in here. And then on this layout, I'm just talking about the favorite things that we like to do, making hot cocoa. Of course, we have the elves visit us as well. Here's another pocket with more of the like the drawings and Christmas wishes and things like that. And family cards and those are all in there and then over here i have one another one of these cards that i did on that um interactive card video so this one had a belly band what i did is just glue the belly band part and turn it into like a picture area so i did go to peru on december and i went to visit my brother and i saw my niece so i have a couple pictures on you know doing that and then here's a picture of me and my niece and me and my brother and i put i did like a peru layout and then just a little bit of journaling and it was just so much fun i mean it was kind of like an emergency trip but it turned out of course um into a fun you know excuse to see my brother and my niece um here once i got back me and the girls you know did some christmas shopping went to the mall we went ice skating and had a fun day and so that was that day every year we play white elephant me just me and the girl so it's so much fun so we have a lot of like little presents because um, i give everybody like a budget and then they can you know buy little things or big things and it's always so much fun um then we went to tahoe right before christmas we took a like a four day weekend or something like that <laughs> and we went to tahoe and played on the snow that was so much fun so a little bit of journaling and a lot of fun a lot of pictures another puzzle here and then we also went to reno which are like two towns right next to each other so we did a couple days in tahoe and a couple days in reno and again a lot of fun reno this is more for like the arcades um and just like being in the room because there's a lot of casinos <laughs> and i don't gamble um, but my mom likes to play so that's why 
we went there for a couple of days and then this is christmas eve um tessie always likes to bake cookies for santa so here she is making her cookies her milk and she made the cookie into like a kitty shape because the girls did for me this year also an advent calendar and each day i open like for the last 12 days I had a surprise each day for some reason i don't have any pictures of that but um uh, one of the days i they gave me like cookie you know cookie cutters in shape of doggies and cats so this i use that to uh, make these cookies and more of the puzzles and in here i'm writing my letter to santa and this is christmas eve so the girls open presents on christmas eve the ones that i get for them and then on christmas morning um they open the gifts they get from santa so this is then just opening presents having so much fun so this was still christmas eve and this was christmas morning and yeah so a lot of fun beautiful memories here's another one of those cards that i just added in here it's a sliding card oh so there we go this is my december daily i hope that you guys enjoy the walkthrough i always love looking back at the things that we did the girls love you know going back to their their december dailies each year and even though we are like way past christmas i'm glad that i finished it i put it together and it is another book done so <laughs> i believe this is our sixth or seventh december daily so I, I just love them so much so i hope that you guys enjoyed the video i want to thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye bye